In this episode of Puzzle Time, we have a brand new puzzle from John Keegan. It holds the record currently for the fastest puzzle to sell out on the Puzzle Master website. This puzzle sold out in six minutes. Find out more about it in this episode of Puzzle Time. Welcome to episode 128 of Puzzle Time. In this episode, we're talking about a new puzzle from John Keegan, the metal puzzle. Uh, some of you may have seen it on our site. Uh, this puzzle has the uh, world record, well, the, the Puzzle Master record for sellout time. So uh, the previous record was the uh, T13 lock, pop lock. It sold out in nine minutes. This puzzle on the Puzzle Master website sold out in six minutes. So it has the official Puzzle Master record for sellout time. It is called Bananas, and it's from John Keegan, like I said. Uh, we're gonna do a, a bit of an unboxing here, Lena. So let's just crack this, uh, this puzzle open and take a look at it. While you're doing that, I'm gonna talk a bit about it. So again, it is made by John Keegan. He has done puzzles like Tumblr and Double Tumblr. Uh, he does some just fantastic aluminum puzzles. Apparently he was inspired um, by Will Stribos. Uh, that oh, was kind okay. of his inspiration for some of this stuff that he's done and what kind of got him into some of the puzzle um, world. But uh, yeah, so this is a sequential discovery puzzle. When it comes with, oh, look at there's a little card and oh, a card holder. Yeah, a little stand for there it. There we go. Yep. I think the crate kind of looks cool. I think it is cool too. I, I like that feature. I like when someone really sells out to a theme in this. And he he definitely has. He has. Uh... When I first saw the pictures, I was like, oh, it would be super big, but it's it's pretty big. So. Oh, and that's the numbered edition. So it's a 31. I think it's on the bottom too, right? The. Yeah. Remembering? Oh, yeah. They give you a little yeah. microfiber cloth nice. just to touch it up there. <laughs> and good. so, yeah, that's your right there. That's the numbers. I should right clean there. it off. Yeah, there. clean it off. Clean it. We got fingerprints on there. <laughs> so, 31 of 220, only 225 made. Yeah, and then he has that's his cool. little signature there. Yep. Nice. Yeah. I think so. You said 1.45 kilograms. It's a sequential discovery puzzle. So, you will get tools in there. It also does come with a yellow banana themed want to solve it or getting frustrated with the solve you can uh open it up and get a solution but if you're paying that much money i doubt you're going to get frustrated easy with it you're probably going to play yeah if you're, if you're even if you're dropping this is a 1200 dollars 1200 canadian puzzle uh it's made out of aluminum and brass thing but you can see some of the brass pieces here so there's like brass pins and stuff apparently there's a whole bunch of pins and magnets and springs Go to our website, puzzlemaster.ca. You can find a list of kind of all the, the things that are included in the puzzle. Um, there's a Lego monkey inside. And I'm going to guess that that is what you've got to get out is the Lego monkey. But the objectives, there's four objectives as it, it comes with uh, come with the puzzle. And they are, like I said, we said before, stated on that card. Can you figure out anything with this? Let's, uh, so these bars, they like, let's, let's move in. a little let's bit. Zoom in a bit here. We're going to get close Within like this frame here so these little things are actually the bars move a little bit inside of there too oh yeah but i think i think the bars is one whole unit i think this is all one unit yeah that comes out yeah okay well i mean i was hoping this would come out i was hoping we could find like a tool maybe that first so like look at this actually this one's a hex it's a hex um so i mean i guess that's your hex key that's gonna fit in some of these or like probably this, this probably that so i'm gonna guess this is a tool like that comes out somehow and you're putting it in there because you can see it's actually in set for that not to go in. So I, I think very likely that's it. It could also be what pushes these or gets the, if those are magnets or buttons, that thing and these two. It could be the thing that, that pushes those. But does it look like it's too big to go in there though? Maybe. I'm not sure. Okay, but well that's bananas. No solution, no solve. We didn't get anything. I was hoping maybe we'd get like one tool out of it. But that is the bananas puzzle by John Keegan. 
$1,200. If you guys got your hands on one, let us know in the comments because we'd love to, uh, to know how you guys do. Um, let us know if you solved it. Maybe it, uh, maybe it was, the solve went well. Uh, okay, next, puzzle contest. We have a puzzle contest running. We are giving away four different prizes, I believe. And it's things from like discounts on our site, uh, free puzzles, maybe some free shipping in ways. Uh, but it's an online treasure hunt. And you can find more about it in the link in the description and uh, enter our contest. Uh, so we're talking today about a review that I liked. It was uh, a puzzle by Oscar Van Deventer called Screw Pack. Now this is done by Aaron. And I like this puzzle. Have you seen it before? Yeah. Seen it? It's that 3D printed one. And there's like, it's like a hex, hexagon shape. And then there's like screw pieces in it that come out. They're all different colors. And now if you watch the review, Aaron doesn't, um, he takes one of the colors. So he takes the red out. The red's the first one that comes out. And I want to know from you guys, if you can tell in the review, which order the uh, screws come out. Because you can kind of see which ones would lead to which. Because it, it kind of comes out in a certain order. So let us know in the comments what order you think all of the uh, screws will come out in this review. Okay, so here we have screw pack. And it comes in a Ziploc baggie to seal in the freshness. So, with this puzzle, it's uh, disassemble, reassemble. And what you're going to be doing is unscrewing these bolts, which you can see all have grooves. Like so. And they got big old chunky threads. And you can see the quality of the 3D print, like, to get really nice sharp threads and you'd see no gaps in the plastic, it is very solid. This was made to be a good puzzle. The puzzle will be unscrewing and putting back together. Now this is where it gets tricky because once you've unscrewed everything and kind of mixed everything up and all that, you have a bunch of threads going in different directions and different, it is pretty difficult especially if you take all these pieces out and jumble everything. That's difficult. That will make this a hard puzzle. So you'll be disassembling and reassembling. It's as difficult as you really want to make it. You could not mix anything up and disassemble it and you probably wouldn't have a terribly hard time reassembling it. But if you want that challenge, Mix it up. The online buzz. The online buzz is a fun one for me today. And we watched the video together. And uh, it's from a YouTuber. I don't know if we've talked about in this channel specifically before. It's called Jim Solves Everything. But we have talked about the guy who does this because he has two different channels. And this is Eric Buffington. Now we've talked about his, his videos before on here. And Linnea, uh, this one was called Epic Puzzle, Epic Fail Puzzle Solving Pick Lock Box. Now, Pick Lock Box, do you remember who it's by? By Jean-Claude Constantine. Yeah, yeah. yeah and it, so in this video, it's a wooden treasure chest box type thing. It has a lock on the front. And uh, I like this video. I actually really like that he posted this video because it, he kind of destroys the box and not purposely, he doesn't do it with any sort of malicious intent, but he makes a lot of mistakes. And what I like is that by the end of the video, the uh, puzzles and pieces, the lock's broken. There's like, there's busted up stuff everywhere. And I like that in the, as you watch the video, he actually roasts himself uh, with words, like comments kind of in, in the video itself. And so he'll do something, he'll be, he'll be like walking you through what he's doing. And then the comments thing on the, on the side there, he's like, no, that's wrong. And then he like says like, don't do that. You're wrecking the puzzle more and like kind of roasts himself. And I, I, I really like it. I think it's, I think it's funny. I think it's creative. I don't love that he like wrecks a puzzle, but it actually wasn't ultimately his fault because at the end of the video, there is a design, like a, uh, a manufacturing error that he finds. If he apparently contacted Jean-Claude Constantine and found out he was missing pieces that were like essential to doing the puzzle solve. Watch the video. I loved it. Uh, Jim solves everything. Epic puzzle, epic fail puzzle solving pick lock box. Hey, next one, yeah, Puzzle Insider. 
Now we watched this one. Do you want to talk a bit about it? Sure. So this one is with the Puzzle Wanderer. He goes through and he does different interviews mm. with puzzle people. And this one, he did a little bit of questionnaire interview with Stefan Baumager. Yeah. So if you guys aren't familiar with his puzzles, the most popular one is Excalibur. Yeah. And uh, at the yeah. end, he talks about uh, uh, Stefan Baumager reveals in this kind of like uh, back and forth interview that they have that he has has a sequential discovery puzzle coming out possibly at the end of this year. So 2022, you could be seeing a sequential discovery puzzle come out from Stefan Baumager. And I don't believe I've seen anything from him that's sequential discovery. Have you seen anything? Mm, I don't think so, no. no. He did mostly does like burr puzzles of what I've seen at yeah. least and a couple other like... Yeah, yeah. So we'll, we'll see. I'm excited to see that maybe. Um, but check out the uh, interview from Gregory, the Puzzle Insider, on the Puzzle Master YouTube channel. Oh, I thought it was kind of cool to see. He mostly does wooden puzzles. Uh, you don't see a lot of sequential discovery wooden puzzles. No, I maybe like it maybe it will. It's true. Take it away, Gregory. His name is Stefan Baumager. On Facebook, he is called Puzzle Leisure. You probably know Stefan Baumager from his renowned puzzles, the Excalibur, the Monsters Burr. Almost no one was able to solve on the internet other than Mr. Puzzle. Did Christianity solve it in the end? I don't remember. And Taurus Hammer, which is also a Monsters Bar puzzle. Most of his puzzles are themed in very nice themes which is amazing to see. I asked him just some random questions for entertainment. <laughs> Did you ever try solving Excalibur without Bertolt? Keep in mind this is one of the hardest bird puzzles in the world. Turns out that when he made bigger batches of Excalibur, he was able to assemble it without Bertolt. For those of you who don't know, Bertolt is a program that helps you to assemble birds. So at the moment he isn't able to do it with Excalibur because that requires insane memorization skills. We haven't seen any sequential discovery puzzles from you in a while. Are there plans for new ones? Uh, that's true, the last one was uh, Cosker Cave Box, but there is only one copy. So less fun for all. I'm in prototyping process for a new sequential discovery puzzle. When I'm lucky and all will work like I thought, it might come in the end of the year. So that's cool news. How do you find theme ideas for your bird puzzles? So that changes. Sometimes he has a concrete idea and he tries to get it done in a bird shape. Sometimes the idea is growing during working with the shaping bird tools. Stefan is a really skilled wood turner. So also he tries to use his skills in wood turning to make unique shapes like the whole grail. What is the design you're most proud of? Each time is a great feeling when the latest idea gets real and you hold it in your hand. There are various things to be proud of when I am able to get high level for a simple burp. That's marvelous. If a puzzle like Excalibur gets viral with YouTube videos, that is sensational. For my packing puzzle Sphere, I am really proud. It has all in one for a puzzle. This is the Sphere's puzzle. Um, the goal is to pack all the pieces inside and it's extremely extremely beautiful has wooden pieces and also has amazing looking marvels inside i actually agree that this puzzle is one of the prettiest puzzles i have in my collection and is indeed amazing both puzzling wise and looks wise okay next guys we have a brain teaser Lene, you want to talk about this a bit this is your stuff on facebook yeah right? so i started designing some brain teasers a few months or about a year ago and this is one of my favorite ones. They're called Rebus Puzzles. So I named it Puzz Rebus. Yeah. And so they're all different little puzzles. You got to figure out the word, common word or phrase, English phrase, that kind of fits with the picture. So you'll look at the picture and you'll kind of guess well, what it's, not, it's. It's not pictures. It's like word pictures, right? Yeah. Where it's like the words and stuff is flipped around or upside down or backwards or different colors. Yeah. So you really got to look at everything to figure yeah. out what it's saying and like the orientation, direction, everything, the colors, anything can pertain to what this They're cool. Is. I, I have trouble seeing them when it, like we were, we were looking at this one and uh, we we're walking through it and Lenny was like, this is this. I'm like, oh, I can see that now. But I, I, right away, man, it took me a while to see what was there. Uh, what was the, I, I like the one, um, oh, so I think it's the first one, top left corner. And it has two black squares with a one and a two that's backwards. And then there's arrows pointing. And it's called back to square one. Or that's what the answer is. Yeah. I like that. I think it's really creative. Lenny makes a lot of these or at least works off of designs other people have used. Yeah, some of them I just go search up random phrases and see if I can think of something. If I can't, then I'll go see what other people have done and tweak the designs a bit. So Yeah, I really like it. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. See if you can solve all of them. Throw your answers in the comments and let us know um, which one is your favorite. I think that, that back to square one was mine. I like that one. It was good. But... 
yeah, that's it. That was for that. That was uh, on the Facebook page actually on May 10th, 2022. So if you guys want to check that out, if you want more of these puzzles, there's lots of them on our Facebook page. Also, Linnea, where else can people find stuff about us online? On TikTok, we have a TikTok live daily from about 10. 45-ish till 12. That's Central, Central Standard, Standard Time. time. Yeah. Yeah. And, then, and you've been getting a lot of people on that. Oh, yes. Thousands like, and thousands of people. Hundreds so. of thousands almost even, right? Yeah, close yeah. to, yeah. So, and then on Instagram, of course, on our YouTube page where we do different shorts and such. Yeah. You can go to our website and check out, subscribe to our newsletter. Puzzlemaster.ca. Yeah. Yep. And there's always new puzzles on there. And like I said, do reviews on puzzles. When you guys have done a puzzle, let us know the review because I mean, uh, other people will see that. So that's, that's good stuff. Again, yeah, sign up for that newsletter and that's where you can see some of the new stuff coming out. And then also you can, um, when puzzles are sold out, um, you can click uh, waiting for it to come back in stock and we'll let you know before it's back in stock that it's coming back in stock. You kind of get a bit of a pre-warning when stuff's back in stock. So cool. That's uh, the end of episode 128. Thank you for watching. Join us uh, next time for episode 129. See ya.